Whew, that was pathetic. Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, Rutgers fans, what's going on? Travis Halonix here. Rutgers, Iowa post game, as I said, beginning here. Pathetic, pathetic, horrible, horrible game. Yet again, Rutgers this time falls to Iowa, 86 77, Iowa City, Carver, Hawkeye Arena. Um, look, same problems that have happened all year, pretty much happened today on both ends of the, both ends of the uh, floor. I mean, you get down big again. You said a big key, you could not get down again big on the road. Big 10, it's like Ohio State down big. Plenty of times this year, and it happened again. First half, you start shooting one for 15, down 11, get up to like 16 points. It just it, it continues to happen. It continues to happen. Um, it's what Pike has got to try and figure out. I mean, guys got to make shots. I mean, offensively, too many turnovers, bad turnovers. Uh, shots at the rim uh, and the paint, just want to go. And uh, you go in that big of a drought, one for 15, and then they went like six for eight after that. Started playing better, so he got down 16. He cut it to seven and a half time because Mawat Mag, two big time threes in the first half. Really good in the first half, down seven. Second half, you're coming out, you're playing uh, fine on offense, shooting well, but then Iowa was shooting like perfect. I mean, it just couldn't miss. Uh, Sanford uh, with money in the second half, just burying three pointers. Uh, Freeman just bullying us down low, getting the end ones off the dribble, getting fouled, just playing great down low. <laughs> um, and then Creaky was good. Perkins had a big end one late as well, chipping in there. They were just bullying us. Uh, Cliff and Wolfolk couldn't, nobody could stop Freeman. And uh, he finished with 20, uh, he had 15 points. Sanford, 24, Creaky, 19, Perkins had 15 as well. Um, for us, it was Mawat Mag and uh, Austin Williams. Strong games. Mag, uh, I think, tied. Or I think career high, career high, close to 24 points. 7 for 15 in the field. Hit three three pointers today. Big. Uh, like I said, Williams, 14 points. Second leading scorer. And J. Mike, 10. And a uh, mix around there. High at 9. Cliff, 6. Derek, 6. Uh, Wolf Hook, 4. Looking at quick here, quickly here. Punk was 2. And then. Uh, J Mike 10, like I said before, Gavin, two points, says he had a bucket with 30 seconds to go in the game. When the game's out of reach there, I'll get to him and get to all the guys in a little bit. But it just, it's fr so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Rutgers Falls to 8 and 6, 0 and 3 in conference play. I was Iowa's record coming into the game. They were 8 and 6, 0 and 3 in conference play. They, they mentioned North Broadcast. Sanford, they lost uh, most Wisconsin. He was said, We're fine, we're fine. And he came out and they said he backed it up and he balled out. Just drilling those threes. That's confidence. Full cuffs right there. He was just shooting those like he knew he was going to make them. And he was sinking them, sinking them, sinking them. And just burying us. Like I said, we were fine on offense. Second half, especially early on. But, uh, I mean, when you can't get stops, you get down that big. You're down 16. Down, still down seven and a half time. And you're trying to crawl back. And then they're just answering you. It's just so tough. That's why it's crucial. And you just can't go on long droughts. You can't let them to go on. 11-0 runs, 10-0 runs, 15-0 runs. I mean, you got to find a way to get buckets. I mean, I get not much has fallen. We had mentioned the broadcast totally. I mean, we had good opportunities, point blank, layups. This ball is not, not going in. And, um, you need, you just got to find a way to get over that and um, be able to score. It's not going on droughts like that. I can't say it enough, but it's happened far too often this season. You know, on the road or home versus Illinois on the road, you know, Wake and those games, Ohio State, the other games, Mississippi State, The Rock. You just, once you get down, it's just so tough to fight back. And um, yeah, and then when you're getting um, on defense, you can't stop. You're just fouling them. There's end ones, they have five, six end ones, and barely even touching uh, Freeman on some of them, Perkins on one, but getting a ticket tag fouls here, there, Rob Riley. Refin, uh, the whole stat, it's like 130 rankings ever, but I mean, it wasn't terrible, but some of them just calls a real tic tac and you know, not the greatest calls, I don't believe, but I mean, he just, he was having this, uh, going back to Freeman, and like I said, Freeman, Creaky, all those guys, the scrappy guys out there in Iowa, and we're putting it to us, putting it to us, um, like I said, Mag, right, 24 points, 
Love the way he played in 32 minutes. Austin, 23 minutes, 6 of 8 from the field, 14 points. Gave us a big boost times in this game. Uh, but, again, um, Derek Hefter's big game, 23 points, just 6 points, 3 of 8 from the field. Didn't attempt, or attempted one three-pointer, 0 for 1, didn't get to the foul line at all. Noah, Derek played 18 minutes. Noah played 15 minutes, 0 points. So, I mean, yeah, Derek, I think 23 uh, Noah, 15 or 16, or I think it was like 17 against um, Ohio State, zero. So they combined for six points today. Noah just took three shots over three. It's one three pointer. I believe he airballed it. Didn't get to the foul line. It's rough. It's rough. I mean, Cliff, six points, one for four from the field, four for four at the line. Yeah, nine boards, four blocks. Uh, Hyatt, four of ten, nine points for him, one for four from downtown. Um, bench Wolf Oak 4, 1 for 1 from the field, 2 for 2 at the line, Oscar, 2 points, Oscar played 13 minutes, I think he had some, some good minutes, not so good minutes, um, but yeah, it's kind of what you, it's kind of what you give him, Oscar, 0 for 2 from downtown, J. Mike, 10 points, 4 of 12 from the field, uh, 2 for 2 at the line, 5 boards, 3, three assists, 2 steals, and block from J. Mike and Gavin Griffiths, I mean, I got, I got hard on him, I mean, brother and I, we watch him, we see when he comes in, he just played nine minutes, at least minutes when he got checked in this game. And you see, I mean, Bike sees that's why he played just nine minutes. I mean, he's been rough, rough as a freshman, five star today, like I said. Gets the two points on the board, 30 seconds left in the game, out of reach. Gets a little uh, bucket in the paint there. But one of five, 0 for 1, three point range. Now it's an air ball. I believe three boards, no assists, no steals, a block. <sighs> It's just rough. I mean, he just lost out there. And this, this played nine minutes. Couldn't, didn't do much when he was out there. Obviously, didn't do really anything. Um, no rhythm, no feel out there uh, in the game for Gavin. It's rough. You expect him uh, to help you out in, in a good good way this year. And it's been uh, just a couple games for him. But, you know, you play third or 14 games. And just a couple strong games with him. And the rest, I bet, whew, real bad. And uh, it sucks. It just sucks. But Austin Williams, as I mentioned, finished out to 14 points, 6 for 8 from the field, 2 for 3 from downtown, knocking down the 2 threes is big for him. As I mentioned, he was not a great 3 point shooter. And um, 0 for 1 in the foul line. He had 4 boards. And um, so, like, it's just rough because the physicality, the toughness, um, he's still missing that from Pike's team. And it's what you always have gotten the last few few years which you're known for for him and you're just messing it you're messing it totally and it's, some, it's just mental mistakes and lack of physical passing uh j mike a few it's williams uh i think or uh but just met a couple guys i don't remember j mike in specific a couple of them but a lot of guys it's mistakes and it just can't happen gotta be clean crisp passes um and you get kind of can't be lack of physical gotta be to the point Critical every possession, every possession counts. There's so many times where we're kind of chipping back with Ohio State, whether today, and then you're big, big turnover. You're about to go get it down under 10, under under seven, and no. They hit a, you turn them over, they get a steal, or you, they hit a big three, it's gonna happen for them. But uh, it's rough, I mean, they were seven of 14 for three point range, 30%. We were six of 19, 31%. We shot 39% of the field, they shot 46%. Uh, they're the top offensive team. They're going to score, renew it, uh, but we pride ourselves on defense and give 86 points. 86 points to the Hawkeyes. They haven't been playing great ball so far, but to pick up their first win in conference play. Rebounds for plus 10, 46-36, 18-8. Offensive boards, 28-28. Defense, assists 17-8. Iowa, steals 9-9. Block 7-4, Rutgers. Total, to total turnovers, 16-14. Rutgers, points on turnovers, even, pretty much even, 18-16. Rutgers, fast break, 13-11. And so all these stats pretty close. Points in the paint, 38-36, Iowa. But again, um, they were up 18 at one point in this game, and then uh, late, and they ended up winning by nine, but it wasn't really close for the last couple minutes. And uh, it's just, like, I'm not going to go on. It's just, it's just so frustrating. Um, still, see you guys saying there are fixable mistakes, but... We haven't seen him be, uh, fix any really yet. I mean, uh, as I mentioned, him after Ohio State, great game. Derek, Noah, need them to be consistent. Maybe not get 20-plus a game or that. 
but at least 10 and 10 and help out and then no one has zero Derek to six it's not gonna not gonna win not gonna win and um yeah you need consistency you need every guy chip in and uh produce produce and uh it just didn't happen it didn't happen the same mistakes getting down big going on long droughts not being able to just get buckets get points find a way to Still times, shooting up threes, you don't need to, rough, rough uh, shot selection, you name it. I mean, uh, this is rough to see. Peichel, uh, he's uh, got to get back to work. This is on him. He's the head coach of this team right now. We're still in 2023 this year. Can't look ahead. There's a lot of ball to be played in the Big Ten still this year. And we return home and play Indiana uh, on Tuesday night. The rack, huge one, going three. Desperately need to get that first conference win, come back home and play in the Hoosiers team you've been owning last few years, got to have it. And pike has got to go to work critically. I you know it's he's working hard. It's what he's got these guys out there. And he's got to get the rotations. Uh, I thought at the time, Benny Cliff sat a bit too much. But he's, he's working a lot of rotations still because uh, he's got to change it up and see what works. And, um, again, Mag and Williams, kudos, guys stepped up. But you need everybody to chip in, be in one unit. To win, and uh, you gotta just play consistent ball, have scores, defend better, uh, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. 86 77 Iowa beats Rutgers today, Iowa City. Frustrating, pissed off, yeah, it's frustrating totally, but not much you can do. Uh, it's gonna support this team day in, day out. And again, Iowa, I mean, Indiana coming up a couple days off, Rutgers Tuesday night at the rack, seven o'clock, Indiana Hoosiers. Take it on the Skull Knights. That's all I got again. If you guys enjoyed the video, like it up, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if not already. We greatly appreciate it. Have a good one. Let's go, Rockers.